It is high time we do a drugstore dupes video. I know I've heard you guys. <laughs> it's been a while. I've been doing these for years and years and years. I'll link my playlist if you wanna learn about some more drugstore dupes alternatives that are out there. I found a few alternatives for some of my all time favorite products, you guys, and I am so excited to share them with you. I'm gonna apply them as I always do side by side. You're gonna see the drugstore being applied compared to the high end side. You can make your own decisions based on what you see. Of course, subscribe, by the way, if you are new here. My name is Jessica. Hi, hi, hi. I do makeup -y videos like this. I also do a lot of vlogs and just hanging out with you guys and chatting. I also wanna thank today's video sponsor, which is Warby Parker. My glasses, the glasses I've had for years and years, it's the only place I buy glasses. My husband has glasses from Warby Parker as well. I love that their glasses start at $95 and that includes anti-reflective UV blocking lenses that are prescription. They are really, really, high quality. So their glasses start at $95 and that includes anti-reflective, scratch resistant prescription lenses that can block out 100% of UV rays. So they're really, really high quality. Plus they design their frames in-house. So their selection is incredible. They have so many different options for different face shapes. That's one thing I've always struggled with. I have a little bit of a wider face. So finding glasses that actually fit and look right had been hard for me until I discovered Warby Parker. So if you're unsure of which frames to try, you can take their home try on quiz where they will recommend different lenses for you based on what you like, what your face shape is, et cetera. They'll send them to your home for free so you can try them on. And then they give you a prepaid return shipping label so you can send them all back. With no strings attached, you can order glasses from them. You cannot. I love that they make it so easy to be able to actually try them on your face in the comfort of your own home. And I just feel like they're such high quality. These are the Esme frames. These are these have been my beloved frames for a couple years now. I get a lot of DMs and questions anytime I'm wearing these, like in Instagram stories. I don't often wear them in videos because with all the lights and stuff, it's a lot, but I just love them. It's a brand that I tell people in my personal life when they are in the market for glasses, I recommend them. So if you are ready to try out five pairs of Warby Parker glasses sent to you for free with a free prepaid shipping label, all you have to do is head over to warbyparker.com slash Jessica Braun. I'll have the link and information right at the top of the description box, as well as in a pinned comment for you. Thank you so much Warby Parker for supporting my channel. Okay, the first product is brand new. And I got a lot of DMs and questions from you guys asking if this other product I'm gonna mention is a dupe for this. So this is the Kosas BB Burst. This retails for $38. It has 24 shades. It is a tinted gel cream. So it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but a little bit more of a gel-like consistency, which is really unique. And some of the ingredients I wanted to call out is that it has zinc, which can be really soothing for like redness or inflamed skin, but it also has copper peptides, which can be plumping and firming for the skin. I like to apply this with a brush. It definitely has lower coverage and I feel like it can make the look, skin look really pretty, definitely hydrated. So the alternative for that that you guys asked about is the CoverGirl Skin Perfector Essence. This is also a newer product at the drugstore. It retails for around $20. I've seen it as cheap as 15, depending on where you shop. It has eight shades, and this is what they call a Hydro Fresh tint. It has these little beads in there that will burst when you're applying it to your skin. One of the ingredients I wanna call out for this is Bakuchiol. I don't think I said that right. That is how it's pronounced. <laughs> but that is a plant-based retinol alternative. So if you're a little too sensitive for retinol, Bacuchiol is um, what like most dermatologists would recommend. As far as I know, I'm not a dermatologist. I like, to <laughs> I am definitely not. So this one, I also apply with a brush and I definitely feel like that is the best way to get those beads to burst so that you actually are spreading the pigment around. When I was first trying the Kosas product, I had already fallen in love with the CoverGirl. I was getting those questions from you guys. So when I was trying the Kosas BB burst in another video, in my head, I was thinking, this is nothing like the CoverGirl. But what I've realized since is as I've tried these more side by side, they may look different when it comes to the actual texture of the product, the look of the product, but the end result is exactly the same. If you blindfolded me and asked me which one was which, I just don't know if I could guess. I really don't. I don't think I could tell the difference. Even when I would put it on my skin, I, I was like, oh yeah, no, the Kosas one, like, let me show you a comparison on my hand. They are completely different, right? Like that's the CoverGirl one, but you burst them beads. And then this one, I was like, oh no, look at, that's like way more coverage. Ah, uh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> 
but when you blend out the Kosas one, it completely blends into the exact same texture as this. Like it's, it's really, it's really interesting. They are both super interesting textures, like I said, but when you apply it with a really good brush, my favorite, I can link below. I know I have some kind of promo code with them, but this is the one I've been using, the BK Beauty 101 with it, and it's beautiful. So my point here is, you can save $18 by getting the CoverGirl one. It's the one I fell in love with first anyway. I would say the Kosas one might be slightly more hydrating. That was my biggest thing when I was trying this in that video. It was the first impressions, but the more I've used it, I've realized I just don't like wearing this on days where I'm wearing a bunch of other makeup. I'd rather wear these alone when I'm just running errands. So another thing to point out is, if you're looking at this product and you're like, ooh, but you know you're someone that you're wanting it to last all day, you're not gonna like either one of these. So I would say in this case, I like the Kosas one a lot, but you can save the money and get the CoverGirl one. Okay, the one that I'm the most excited to share with you guys is my beloved NARS Cream Bronzer. It retails for $40. They have five different shades. I have the lightest shade, which is Laguna 01. This is the cream bronzer to end all cream bronzers for me. Once I discovered this, I've never felt fallen in love with another cream bronzer in the same way. I've tried other ones I like, like I've mentioned the Juvia's Place one, but this is still like numero uno. I'll show you me applying it now. I always use a brush for this. It blends in almost as if it's a cream foundation. And I'm wondering if that's like part of the magic of this is that they're using almost a foundation like coverage for a bronzer and so it just ends up making my skin look really nice. It's easy to blend in, it's creamy, but it stays all day. So then Milani launched a new cream bronzer. This is their Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. It retails for $13. There are four shades of this and I have the lightest shade in 110 Hey Honey. This is so, so, so similar, you guys. I'll apply it on the other side so you can see. The one big thing is I do think you have to be a little bit more careful. The shade for me is not quite as good as the NARS one, but that's a personal thing. But I do think this, you have to be a little bit more light-handed with it, but it always blends out really nicely. So even when you're not, I'll, I'll kind of blend it with my brush a bit, I'll grab my sponge to help. It always ends up looking exactly the same way the NARS one does. So as long as you're okay with that little bit of extra legwork of maybe being a little bit more careful and blending it in a little bit better, I think you would really like this one. You can certainly save a lot of money. Now, if price were not an issue, which one do I like the best? I st I'm sorry, but I still like the NARS one better. Again, it could just be that the shade is that much better, but I feel like this one is ever so slightly creamier, which makes it easier to blend onto the skin but both of them have an incredible wear time as well. And again, you can save $27 by going the Milani route. Oh, if this is not the most requested one to include in my next dupes video, it is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. This retails for $23. There are 13 different shades. Some of them are matte. Some of them are more like dewy and radiant. This is one of those products that has a doe foot applicator and the tiniest bit goes a very, very long way. You can see me applying it here. Even two dots, I'm still having to wipe more off. I'm blended. I'm so it, you have to be really careful. Well, e.l.f. recently launched their Camo Liquid Blushes. These retail for $7 and there are nine different shades. All of these kind of have more of a, they say a dewy finish, so they don't have different finishes to them. I don't think it's like the dewiest finish you've ever seen, but they don't have that distinction like Rare Beauty does between finishes. But again, it's got that same doe foot applicator. You dot, you know, one to two dots on if that. The one thing I will say is I'm starting to find the e.l.f. one to be a little bit easier to blend in than the Rare Beauty. Like I said, both of them, you just don't need a lot. So these are going to last you forever. My biggest tip with these is to mix it with some kind of glowy liquid, like a glowy primer or something like that. Doing that on your hand and then tapping it on gives the most beautiful glowy blushy look and it kind of tamps down the color pigment to it. And that is the way I found myself using both of these pretty much exclusively. I did it normally for today just so I could show you it. Obviously the shades are not an exact match either. I've got Hope in the Rare Beauty one and I applied Dusty Rosé in on this cheek. I will say looking at it now that it's been on my face for a little bit, I feel like the e.l.f. side looks a little bit splotchier. What do you guys think? Than this side. 
I don't know. It's also not like super prominent. I think maybe I blended it away too much, but I feel like sometimes I'd rather that than, I don't know. Although I say that and sometimes I really like a super blush look. <laughs> so I would say you can save the money. You save $16 by going the e.l.f. route and I just don't think there's enough of a distinction between them to warrant paying the higher price tag. I think, like I said, maybe the Rare Beauty one today looks a little more even, but I don't know. I haven't really noticed that other days. So I say save the money. Okay. The newest dupe. Well, the Kosas one was, is maybe the newest dupe, but right under that, this is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This retails for $25. It actually has six shades. That surprised me. They've got like purple and pink and blue, and then of course like black and brown. This is unique because it is a tubing mascara. I know, I'm betting most of you guys know what that is by now because they've become so popular, but it's basically a mascara that form these little tubes on your lashes. That sounds weird. You apply it like normal. You don't have to do anything differently, but the beauty is that all it takes is warm water to remove them and it comes off so easily. So you're not gonna, it, it is amazing. The other thing I've learned that I love about tubing mascaras is that there's typically no flaking or smudging because the formula is so different than normal mascaras. So this one has got a kind of conically shaped wand. You just wiggle it at the root like normal, apply it like a normal mascara. The one thing to know about tubing mascaras and this one especially is that you can't, you know with some mascaras you can apply a coat and wait a while and reapply. You can do this for a little bit, but not long because once it dries, it's it's dry. Like you're not really gonna be able to wiggle more in there. So e.l.f. launched what is very clearly meant to be a dupe for this product, even the colors. I mean, you know, they weren't even trying to hide it. It is the e.l.f. Lash Extender Mascara. This one retails for $7 and it has three shades, but the shades are like soft black. What did I even wrote it down? Oh yeah, it's like dark brown, pitch black and soft black. So not a lot of colors. I know, I don't think most of us are dying for colored mascara, but I know a lot of people are looking for that, which right now you are not gonna find in the e.l.f. line. This one has the exact same brush, <laughs> like exact same. And I really do feel like this applies the exact same as the Thrive. I think maybe I get a little bit more volume with the Thrive Cosmetics side. I did go back in for like a secondary-ish coat for both of them. And even just looking at my lashes now, I feel like the Thrive side over here looks a little bit fuller. Is it enough of a distinction to warrant paying $25? I don't think so. And especially considering mascara, you're replacing it so much more often than you're having to replace other makeup items. If you're gonna be splurging on a makeup item, I just don't think mascara is usually worth splurging on. So if you were dying to try this, I think you will be satisfied with the e.l.f. lash extender. I just don't think there's enough of a difference and the user experience is the same. The removal with warm water is the same. I guess one of the other differences is this Thrive product is actually like quite heavy and the e.l.f. one is just like a normal plastic one. I don't know if you care about that, but just reporting it. So I would say in that case, you can save $18 by going with the e.l.f. This one, Let's talk about this one. Okay, a while back, Tarte launched their Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. I love these. I love them. I have three different shades. I'm wearing currently the shade Primrose. These retail for $24. There are eight shades in this line. They also have another line, what was it called? That's a shimmer line. Um, I've not tried that, so I'm assuming the consistency is the same just with the added shimmer, I don't know but I recommend just the regular line. They make your lips look super juicy. It's the kind of pen where you click it up and you can't click it back down, so just be aware of that. So super juicy looking on the lips and I this is a purse lippy. You know what I mean? It just lives in my purse. So NYX launched their Fat Oil Slick Click Shiny Lip Balm. This one retails for $11 and there are 12 shades. So there's technically more shades, although I think if you include Tarte's other shimmer line, it'd probably be the same or Tarte would have a little bit more. I have the shade No Filter Needed. I'm gonna show you me applying this to the other half of my lips. This one has a little bit of shimmer to it. It's just not as juicy as the Tarte one is, right off the bat, it's just really not. Do I think it still looks nice on the lips? Yes, so it's not a bad product, but I don't think it's a true, true dupe for the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. These, these names are so long. It's just not a true dupe. It's an alternative kind of, but I, I just don't think it's 
I really would opt for the Tarte over this. Like I could see myself eventually decluttering this because I can't envision a scenario where I would reach for this over the Tarte one that I love. The other thing to note though, which might make you want to try the NYX instead, the Tarte one does, it's supposed to be plumping so it has a slightly minty tingle. The NYX one does not. So if you're not wanting that, but you want a similar-ish product, you might like the NYX one. And if you go with the NYX, you would save $13, which I mean, that's, you could get two NYX for the price of Tarte. But I will say Tarte is oftentimes on like parts of the Ulta sales, definitely like gift sets where you can get two or three for the price of one. So that's probably the way to go. If you're curious, the other makeup I'm wearing, just, I don't know. I feel like I would be curious if I were watching. I have the IT. Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder on, and then the LYS Triple Fix Powder on my under eye. I have this Maybelline Single Shadow in Nude Glow. You guys know I love this. All over my lids, that's the only eyeshadow I have on. It is like $3, you guys, and it is so good. And then the liner, I just kind of tight lined with the Sephora 12 Hour Liner in Tiramisu. It's like 10 bucks at Sephora. And then the Milk Makeup Future Fluid Cream Concealer is the concealer I'm wearing right now that I really, really like. Definitely has some good coverage. I have the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Ashy Brows in my brows. <laughs> and then I originally lip lined with this, but I ended up kind of blending it a little bit because it was a little too dark at the NYX slide on lip liner in need me which you i love this shade so much i think that was everything and then of course you already saw all the dupes that i tried on so again thanks to warby parker for sponsoring this video you can take the warby parker home try on quiz really quickly in the comfort of your home and try out five pairs of glasses from warby parker for free by going to warbyparker.com jessica braun i will have that link in a pinned comment as well as at the top of the description box for you thank you so much warby parker so i hope you enjoyed again i'll link my drugstore dupes playlist below. I've been doing this for a long time. I have a lot of dupes videos uh, and I don't repeat dupes typically. So definitely check those out. There's a lot of goodies in there. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll subscribe if you have not yet. Like I said, we do makeup videos, we do vlogs, we do all kinds of stuff here. I'd love to have you join our little family here and come say hey to me over on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun, B-R-A-U-N over there. I'm also on TikTok under the same name and I will see you guys in my next one.